Ryan wins the little Wii and Protect, is a detection of Microsoft Defenders that you can see popping up in the system. This detection is a marker of a malicious activity that can end up with spyware injection or hackers gaining remote access to the computer. At the same time, there are reports about it being a false positive detection. In this video, I will explain whether it can be false positive and how to remove it. So, normally, try and win the two VM protect detection flags a backdoor malware or a low directive in the system. VM protect name corresponds to a small group of malware that acts in a similar manner to one another but has different origins. The signatures that are used to detect the malware are not very reliable, which leaves plenty of room for incorrect detections, but we will get back to it later. For the same times that you may notice, they are mostly meager and unremarkable. Malware tries to leave as little visible clues as possible, so it can stay undetected for longer. However, you can see console windows blinking from time to time, your internet traffic consumption getting exponentially higher, and a lot of strange processes popping up in the task manager. Both backdoors and loaders can inject other malware into your system, but backdoors also provide remote access and can mess up with system settings. There is also a possibility of this detection being a false positive. As I said, rules used for this detection are not highly reliable. If the defender cannot find the digital certificate of the file or it is expired, it can indicate the file as dangerous, as a lot of functions and calls that normal programs use also appear in malware. The certificate in this case is the only way to distinguish between good and bad. But how to understand whether you should worry about the Troy and Winset 2 VM Protect detection or not? Manual analysis may be complicated, especially since malicious programs can sometimes mix their files with legit applications. For that reason, I recommend running a second opinion scan with Gridden Soft and Timeover. It will quickly reveal whether there is any threat to your system or not. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan. So the program will go through all the system elements, down to configuration files and hidden folders. The scan will take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click the Clean Now button to remove the detected malware. If no detections appear during the scan, then you have likely seen a false positive detection. But when there are malicious programs, I would recommend you to reset all the passwords that you have in the system. This way, cybercriminals will not be able to use the leaked credentials. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.